You know, the, 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 I, I'm basically saying I suspect what a lot of you already have, have figured out. I'm um, teaching online is different. The global pandemic has changed everything. The, you know, there's been a sudden pivot to technology-enabled learning. Change has been swift, but basically it's been to translate um, well-worn lectures in a sort of online format. And uh, the studies I've read from the schools I know in those areas are that the students found it, well, okay, but rather boring. I mean, putting it more simply, um, what, you could, what you could basically say is many of the business school faculty and researchers in strategy and organization and elsewhere have studied disruption and changes in a wide range of the industries leading to things like Uber and everything else. Even though we study them and teach them, we were willfully blind in, in looking at disruptions and changes in a significant way in our own industry, if you want to call it an industry. So I think we were ahead of the pack there. But I think most of the efforts were, uh, in, in some cases, rather weak. The human factor is missing from that teaching. So we, what we really have to do is to decide um, how we're going to blend face-to-face -face with um, uh, online teaching. But when, when hopefully COVID-19 disappears after you know, a number of vaccines and so on and so forth, the real question is, what's the balance between online learning and face-to-face -face learning? It blended learning is a tremendous asset. But I think that in, in the second curve, that we're going to see much more use of interactive, experiential teaching, project-based learning as well. It's not that one is better than the other. The question is, how do you use those technologies in order to uh, teach? And, and inspire students in an effective way.